This is a tutorial on how to make adjustments and additions to your the back end of your Divi page builder. So right now I just I have a brand new page and I'm just going to call this test and I'm going to activate the Divi builder on the page. And a brand new page is just going to be empty. Um, but I'm going to use one of these just so that there's already content to demonstrate this. So let's pick any of these. We'll pick the home page. Okay, here is the back end of the page. Now in Divi, Divi is a drag and drop builder, which means we can move pieces around just by clicking on the, um, I, the move icon and just dragging them around. But before we get to that, you'll notice here that the Divi page is made up of different components and they have different colors. So you'll notice so this blue part, no, sorry, this purple is a hero section. The blue is a section. Oh, the green indicates a row within a section. And then these dark gray are modules within a row. So the way that we'll be able to update and, and make changes to our page, and we can do this either on the front end or on the back end in this wireframe setup. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate the, um, the functionality, functionality here in the back end real quick first. So let's say if we wanted to look at this briefly, we could say we'll look at it on the front end. This is what it looks like. And you can see as you hover over the page, it's going to show you the different components. You can see this is our hero, this is the section, this is the row, and then these are the modules. But if we go back to our wireframe, and if we decide we want to move things around, we want to drag this text over here, and we want to, maybe we want to move this row into this section. Oh, we can't because they have different columns. Okay, so let's just say we want to, actually we can do this here, we could drag, put this underneath. Here, so the, the way that the rows are differentiated is they have different column widths within the section. So in any of these green bars, you'll see this icon here that says change column structure and this is where you can take your components and change how they're laid out in terms of width on the page so if you can see in this one we have two half widths we could change this to full width we can change it to three so if you have a component so if you have a, a pre-made section that's two and you want to have it uh if it's it's two half width rows uh, sorry two half width columns and you want to change it to one full width column all you need to do is go in here and you can modify the width of your column right there. Um, let's say you have a section, if you wanted to have one of these components be full width and the rest be half width, what you would do is add another section. I'm leave that blank, that's okay. Not that. That's okay, I'm gonna leave that, oops, I have two. Did that twice and what we can do is just drag and drop the ones that we want to be in the different size um, section with half width columns and then we can move things around so let's say we wanted another full width underneath that we'll leave that empty and we'll just drag this down here so now we've changed if we go back to the front end you can see we have changed the layout of our page. Um, maybe not for the better because we weren't looking at the components while we were doing it, but you can see now it looks a little bit different than it did before. I'm not gonna save this. I'm gonna go back to my wireframes. You can also do the same action on the front end. Here you can see that these modules have these um, you know, drag and drop icons here. So I could actually just drag this down here. So you could do that on the front end or on the back end. 